I'm Hydra, and I live in fresh water around the globe. My name has been given to me by a guy called Abraham Tremblay. But he wasn't the first one who discovered my existence. There was a guy called Leeuwenhoek, who published first details about me in 1702. I'm very small, but you can see me with naked eye. I can reach up to one centimeter when fully stretching my body. Green color is not my native look. You see, I live in symbiotic relation with an algae, which gives me sugars and fresh supply of oxygen. In return, I give it protection and safe place to stay. I'm predator and I must hunt to survive. I can have up to 12 tentacles, which I use to catch my prey. My body is equipped with high-tech cells called nidocytes. If you know what harpoon is, then you'll understand how those cells work. When something edible crosses my path, I grab it with my tentacles and fire harpoons into the victim, puncturing its outer shell. Then I pump neurotoxin paralyzer. This stops my prey swimming away. I don't have an open mouth, so in order to eat, I need to rupture my cell wall and push the prey into my digestive tract. When I'm done digesting, I regurgitate what's left over. I'm not equipped with other means to dispose of waste products. I wish I was. I live a lonely life, but I don't need partner to reproduce. You humans call this Budding. The bud grows from the body wall, and when it's mature, it breaks away, forming new hydra. When I'm chilling in water, I use my back end to attach myself to solid substrates. I have special gland cells which produce sticky fluid so I don't get washed with current. Humans call me mortal. I guess that's true. My stem cells have capacity for indefinite self-renewal. I don't seem to age. I don't even know how old I am. If you find me in nature, please treat me with respect, as you would do with an old lady. If you take me home and you put me under one of those microscopes, please put me back in a jar and do not let me dry on a slide. Special thanks to Roberto for undying support. 